All right, baked potatoes work good. I just put them on with the cleaning and preheat and cleaning time and cooked hot dogs and I ended up baking. Got a little bit of burnt here. But that's okay, it peels right off. And it's that simple, folks. You can bake potatoes while you cook hot dogs and then have mashed potatoes later on. Roasted mashed potatoes, even. It's a Thurston County Amateur Barbecue Cook-Off. Now's your chance to bring your backyard barbecue skills into a local countywide competition and see just how good it really is with the first annual Thurston County Amateur Barbecue Cook-Off competition. Just think, you could have a shot at prizes and recognition and have a great time as well. All the proceeds go to AFAB World. Go to AFABworld.org or call 754-2868 for all the information. Preliminary rounds are forming now. Hey, it's the Thurston County Amateur Barbecue Cook-Off. And music. <laughs> Infrared gas grill. We put it together. We took a whole bunch of photos of doing that. And guess what? I lost them. Bummer. We heated it up, got it burned in, and now we're going to cook some hot dogs on it. And this is the barbecue, the Brinkman Vexa Vertrex Sear Gas Grill that uh, Home Depot donated for the Grand Championship Prize of the Thurston County Amateur Barbecue Cookout. It's a lot bigger than this one. Uh, they're both really nice ones. We're going to be doing cooking demos and classes with this at the events. And yes, it is raining in Washington. Uh, ignite the burner. All three of them. Now I cooked, I cleaned this off by burning it, the uh, burn in for 15 minutes on high, and I'm going to try it on low for 15 minutes just to see how hot it gets the grill. It got it to 600 degrees in about 10 minutes the first try on high. So let's try it on low and see what... Alright, first 15 minutes on low, it got up to 300 degrees. I kicked her all up to high now. One of them had actually blown out, so I, I guess I set it past low actually. Anyways, kicked it up on high and it's been less than 5 minutes. We're almost up to 400 degrees. I did toss some potatoes in, little red taters, got them going, then I got a pan of cast iron skillet heating up for uh, sautéing some onions that are going to go on the hot dogs. Alright, I am going to put that up on the warming rack, and add my onion and garlic and butter. I put salt and pepper on. It's the Thurston County Amateur Barbecue Cook-Off. And it's going to saute for a while. We're going to get the hot dogs ready and fry up some hot dogs. Grill up some hot dogs. Alright, she's right around 500 degrees, so we're just going to turn it down just a little bit. Go ahead and give these onions and garlic a flip. Insert. Okay. Now we have the hot dogs. Hebrew National. And I sprayed them with Pam just so they won't stick. It's that simple, that easy. Alright, we're going to let these go for two minutes. We're going to rotate them like this. And let them go for two more minutes and rotate them again. So it's down to 400 degrees. Okay, we're working at the grill temperature, which is probably one to 200 degrees hotter than that. We're hoping at least 200 degrees. One to two hundred. Alright. Let it go for another two minutes. Alright. Looking 
good. time the grill uh, got smart with me, or gravity did. So we're just going to turn them all this way now. Get that last side that doesn't have a mark on it done. And we're just going to move these down a little bit. We're going to place our hot dog buns on the warmer rack. Let's see how the warmer rack does. And we're going to let it go for another minute and a half. So that took about 30 seconds. Alright. Although these are warm, they're not, there's no grill marks on them and I'm not going to take them that long because they're plenty hot and they're kind of crispy. Enough. Yep, dogs are almost done. We're gonna let them go another two minutes, I'd say. Give Angie time to get her bun ready. And I'm gonna go ahead and heat this side up hotter just to see how that works. back in two minutes. All right, Angie requested that hers be cut in half and seared on the inside too. Special orders don't upset us. Ta-da. Onion and chopped garlic, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, potatoes. Dinner's ready. On the Charbroil True Infrared Grill. Cook number one. All right. Here we have our grilled onion and garlic, hot dog, relish, mayonnaise, mustard. On a nice warm bun. Look at that. That is good. Nice flavor. He Hebrew National always is a great hot dog. All right, that was pretty good. I like the flavor. We'll see how easy the metal cleans up. We're gonna let the potatoes continue roasting. I'm gonna finish up my hot dog, and then we're gonna uh, turn it on high, clean up the cast iron skillet and the uh, grill. Just gonna have another hot dog is all. Got these guys uh, finished up up it's there, the nice and county. well Amateur done. Barbecue cook this is perfect, that's how I like it. Yep. You have me another one. Too bad I didn't make more onions and garlic. That was really good. If you haven't tried it that way, you should. That was the first time I tried it that way. It was good.